Many people working with data already run queries on a daily basis. But what happens when you take the next step and deploy a data lake based on cloud object storage? How can data in and around the lake fit into a data federation strategy? And how does Starburst Galaxy help you execute queries efficiently regardless of the data's location? If you've ever wondered how queries, data lakes, and federation fit together, this course is for you. It's designed to understand how each of these things supports the other and how Starburst Galaxy, running on a data lake, sits at the heart of this process, making it easy to query data sources, including data lakes and lake houses, while using data federation in a way that maintains performance and saves money. Interested? Let's dig into the topics from the course a bit more. Queries are the main way that data analysts and data scientists derive insights from their data sets. You can think of these queries as questions asked of the data set, and the resulting answers are the real purpose behind data analysis in the first place. Depending on how the question is asked, the answer can either be more or less valuable, and learning how to ask the right questions in the right ways to get the most value out of your data is really what big data is all about. Data lakes are a modern form of data storage technology. Although they can come in a few different forms, usually they make use of cloud object storage through one of the major cloud providers like AWS, Azure, or GCP. Data lakes have a few advantages over traditional storage. They don't require data to be structured before it enters the lake, saving time and money, and they're very inexpensive compared to alternative technologies. These two attributes have vaulted data lakes to the very top of the big data pyramid, helped by modern data lake table formats like Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hootie, which make them comparable in performance to traditional technologies like data warehouses. Federation is the final piece of this puzzle. It describes the process of querying data across multiple data sources, allowing you to gain some data from one source, say a data warehouse, and some data from another source, say a data lake. This has huge ramifications because it lets you store the data that you want in the place that makes the most sense for your business. This means that different systems can work together and organizations can make choices about housing data in locations that help save them both time and money. This has big implications down the road and it's one of the reasons that data federation is a hot topic in big data today. Where does Starburst Galaxy come in? Galaxy joins all of these things together, works extremely well on data lakes, and uses the ideal architecture to help facilitate federation if needed. This combination of attributes lets businesses flourish on the lake with all the time and cost benefits that come with that. In this course, I'll explore these concepts in depth and then show you how to get started yourself through a series of hands-on labs using your own Starburst Galaxy cluster. This way you can see firsthand how easy it is to query data lakes and federate those queries in instances where some of that data might need to be outside of the lake. Excited? Let's get started.